Hey everybody, got several questions about on our tour about the mouth, about the opening, the salt water connection to Carpinteria Salt Marsh, and this is it. So I've just come down the uh, development here, the, the area that used to be all of this dunes and now is riprap in private homes, that, that spit of land. And we're looking here, we're looking westward now, and this connection is uh, is where water is coming in and out. Now, uh, when we were on our tour, it was relatively high tide. Now it's only about two and a half, plus two and a half feet. So this is more of a typical uh, tidal height, but you can see this is heavily rip wrapped, heavily um, anchored in place. And this mouth is gonna be open all the time and it's not gonna be allowed to meander uh, any which way. But nevertheless, this is what the connection looks like. So we're talking about, uh, let's see, I don't know, it's a little bit far over there. I, I, I wanna guess it's about uh, two, I don't know, 150 or so meters wide. And here at the end of, or at this end of the easily reachable section of the Carbonbria City Beach. And so as I walk down here real quickly, <clears throat> you'll see this is the housing area. So here's the Sandy Land, Sandy Land development and all the associated private property and therefore a private access point here. So you cannot, you can go on the, uh, the, 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 the beach, the sand part of the beach up to mean high tide. But once we hit these boulders and stairs, these are designated private property. So again, the mouth of Carpenteria Salt Marsh here in Carpenteria, California in late October, 2020 on a nice classic overcast SoCal morning. So we're a little in from the mouth here and a great example. So now uh, the tide is going out. We see here all along, not sure how, how well this picks up, but we have a lot of, uh, and at this sort of low rack line here, we have a lot of ova, um, a lot of this green algae. Now this is not the kind of algae you're gonna get um, out on the reef. This isn't um, offshore production. This is algae that's been growing in the marsh back in over here. So what's gone on is we've had this very high tide and then a concomitant drop in that tide. And so it's pulled out a lot of material from the estuary, from the salt marsh, and it's deposited here. So we're down coast from the, from the marsh. So we, get, we have, uh, generally speaking, uh, longshore movement. And so we see this uh, material from the marsh deposited all throughout uh, this little chunk of the beach just south of the mouth. It's a great example of how um, there's this connectivity between stuff going in the marsh and stuff coming out of the marsh. So pretty cool, pretty cool.